Fox 11 Community Champions is driven by your helpful Southern California Honda dealers. In tonight's Community Champions story, the Super Bowl has come and gone, but the legacy will live on in the monies going to community. The final figure, $2 million, with the latest project, a park on wheels. As a victory parade Wednesday cemented the L.A. Rams Super Bowl win into the history books, a legacy of community service will live on with $2 million in grant money shared by organizations like the Plus Me Project. The Plus Me Project builds confidence in youth through storytelling. So we share our journeys and we help youth find and discover their own stories. And Project Blue with LAPD coaches of the Watts Rams youth football team. We want to teach these kids life skills. We want to teach these kids how to be productive on and off the field. And that's what we're able to do with the Watts Rams. We're able to really center that energy. And then we have great coaches from the community. We have great coaches from Los Angeles Police Department. And Mary's List with welcome supplies for refugees. So this is the Mary's List welcome workshop. It's where we store and sort and ship supplies for families. This summer, I went to SoFi Stadium to learn all about this NFL legacy program. Each host city uh, determines what they want their Super Bowl legacy to be. Renata Simril is the CEO of the Play Equity Fund established to raise more money and to, to eliminate more barriers and to eliminate structural issues that prevent kids from accessing sport. It was announced last week the launch of a new mobile play program to serve under-resourced communities. I get excited about the um, impact that the Super Bowl and the NFL you know, seeks to have in every city and to be able to drive some social impact in the community that I grew up in, the community I love. And it all started with those 56 nonprofits that Fox 11 has been introducing to you all football season long. Of the $2 million for the Legacy Program, $1 million came from the NFL. You know, I saw Renata at the NFL Honors you when did. I was covering it, and she came up to me to say, what a difference your stories have oh. made to those nonprofits oh, that she's good. heard from so many of them who have had additional people donate and volunteer because they've seen the stories on oh, Community Champions. I love so big that. shout out to you and, and a really proud, I think, moment for the station as well, using the platform to highlight them. Well, the neat thing is we were going to stop at the, when the Super Bowl came and then... Uh, there are so many organizations, 56 of them, that we're going to continue to profile them because there's a lot of unsung heroes that we're learning about as well. Yeah, so and clearly the stories are making a difference. Every week.